What's up everyone welcome to my youtube channel I'm Abhishek and in this video I will teach you how to install Kali Linux on Android device on the external SD card yes guys in this video I will teach you that how you can install Kali Linux on your Android device without using any space of your internal memory I will show the full tutorial of that and I promise that this video is helpful and keep watching this video and so sorry for the late upload cause I was busy at preparing for the SEE examination so sorry for uploading the video so late and keep watching this video and let get started you require three applications which are root explorer apps to sd and bgbox just install these three applications download link is given in the description i have already installed these applications and the next thing you require is your device must be rooted to install kali net Nantar. as you guys know uh, and my device is already rooted as you guys can see su super su is installed in my device and the next thing is you should download the NetHunter zip file for your Android device. If you don't know how to download NetHunter zip file for your Android device, then I will show you guys the tutorial. To download the Kali NetHunter file, go to the any browser you want and search for the Kali Linux uh, official website and click on the first website you find and keep scrolling till you found the download Kali NetHunter option. Click on that and this is the official website where you can download Kali NetHunter. Uh, zip file for your android device keep scrolling until you find image name files and here you guys can see the files these files are the zip file of kali Interpreter. and if your device is nexus then you should download the nexus uh, files and if your device is on the nexus like samsung lg Gioni, etc then you should download the oneplus file and the file format should be in the zip and that's the tutorial to download the Kali Tender zip file. Next requirement is you should have second partition created on your external SD card. Uh, if you don't know that what is second partition or how to create second partition then you can watch my previous video by clicking on the i button or the link is given in the description. Now let's start the tutorial. So first of all you should extract the Nintendo zip file on your external SD card or SD card wherever you want just extract that file and wait for some time until it's extracted my take up to 3 minutes and now my file has been extracted you guys can see here uh, after the file has been extracted the size will become 662 and now go inside that file and go to the data go to the data and click on the apps now you should install three apps first apps is uh, net hunter install the net hunter application and okay second application is vnc viewer android vnc viewer you guys you will have those all application under that zip file and next application is net hunter terminal so now all the application has been installed now go back go back and go to the data go to the local now you should move or copy this file to your internal storage of your phone remember guys you should only ex move this file to the internal storage not on uh, other folders so you can wait for some time until it has been moved now go to the settings and then go to the display and you should set your screen time at 10 minutes this is optional if you don't want to set it 10 minutes and then you can now go back and go to the about device and click on the builder number for seven time then you will enable the developer option and under that developer option unlock the om e unlocker and usb debugging this is optional if you don't want then you can now my file has been moved in my internal storage you guys can see here the size is 592 mb and uh, now you have to go to the kali net hunter application and this is searching for the chroot file which is not installed until now 
and click on the three lines click on the Kali CH root manager click on the install CH root and cut the application now open the root explorer and uh, go to the root file and scroll down go to the root file and scroll down click on the data again uh, go to the data file and uh, now search for the com dot offset dot net here's the file which i was searching for now click on this file and click on the file again and now click on the script now you should link the these three files which is boot kali boot bash boost login onto the system slash bins and remember guys you should link this file manually not by clicking all of them at the same time you should do them uh, by one by one now hold on the first file and click on the three lines which is on the right side now click on the link to this file and slide to the right and uh, now go to the root file and search for the system named file now click on the bin file now click on the link button click on the yes again click on the yes then the first file has been linked now we should link the second file then do the same to link the second file okay now it's time for the third file again same rule as the first and second file now our three files has been linked in the system slash bin okay this is the main step open the apps to st named application the download link is in the description Mm, open this application and click on the link apps to sd option which is on the first now click on the three lines on the left side now click on the recreate mount script mark on the ext2 and click on the ok yes and uh, wait for some time till the second partition will be mount and uh, you guys can see the second partition has been mount now click on the folder mount and click on the plus, plus button now give this folder any name uh, for uh, right now i am giving this na folder name as kali ch root manager ok kali ch root m now click on the source folder uh, click on the source folder and you will be redirected into the file manager now go to the root directory and then go to the data data folder and um, again the search for the local named folder which is used for here is the file and uh, click on the nh system in root directory data local slash nh system and in the destination folder click on the destination folder and now click on go to the root directory again and uh, go to the data and uh, click on the sdext2 you still have second partition created for the doing this process otherwise this is not going to work so you can create a new folder for the kali net under in the second partition now click on that file and click on the right and uh, mark on the delete source folder contents after pinned slash link now click on the ok Mm, remember the source folder should be on the NH system and the distancer folder should be on the S second partition and now go to the root explorer to check that the folder has been mounted completely or not and go to the data and then go to the local go to the local local where is the file and ok here is the file and nh system you guys can see the available storage is 3.9 gb and now the storage is 7.8 gb which means the folder has been mounted into the stext2 now cut all the applications and go to the kali net hunter ok kali net hunter and now click on the three lines which is on the left side now click on the kali ch root manager after that click on the install kali ch root manager use st card uh, full ch root uh, full ch root and after that uh, uh, wait for up to 10 minute uh, or 15 minute it, might, uh, it depends on your types of mobile phone 
uh, and the RAM of your phone uh, so it might takes up to 10 and 15 minutes so keep wait uh, keep waiting for until the file has been extracted and uh, this will do all the process After extracting and deploying process has been done, you should choose the meta package. I will suggest you guys to choose only the Kali Linux NetHunter. If you choose other then you might need up to 20 GB to install those. So that choose only the Kali NetHunter meta package. And you guys can see the Kali NetHunter has been installed successfully in our Android device. And the, all the features has been unlocked. You guys can see by clicking on the uh, left side uh, the all features has been unlocked which we used to hack uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, mobile phones or etc. And there is no way that my in my device that uh, the net hunter will be installed cause I have only 5 GB of internal storage so uh, in my device there is no way to install the Kali net hunter on the internal storage but by using this trick you can install the Kali net hunter search root in the uh, your device using the external SD card and this is the process to do this I hope uh, this process will work for all of you guys and Mm, uh, the search root file is installed successfully and the search root file is now stored in the second partition in uh, of our memory card and if you enjoy this watching this video then please hit the like and subscribe to my youtube channel if you want more contents like this and also enable the notification bell so that you can get a notification whenever i upload a new videos and uh, Thanks for watching, bye bye, see you in my next video. To see the proof that all the commands will run, then keep watching this video and Jai Nepal.